ఏ మ్యాన్ లెంట్ ఫోర్ థౌసండ్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ ఎట్ థర్టీ పర్సెంట్ కాంపౌండ్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ పర్ యానమ్ ఫర్ త్రీ ఇయర్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ ద ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఎర్న్డ్ బై ద మ్యాన్ ఇన్ ద సెకండ్ ఇయర్ ఓన్లీ అండ్ ద ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఎర్న్డ్ బై ద మ్యాన్ ఇన్ ద థర్డ్ ఇయర్ ఓన్లీ నవ్ వీ హ్యావ్ బీన్ గివెన్ దట్ ఏ మ్యాన్ లెంట్ ఫోర్ థౌసండ్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ ఎట్ థర్టీ పర్సెంట్ కాంపౌండ్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఫర్ త్రీ ఇయర్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ ద ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఎర్న్డ్ బై ద మ్యాన్ ఇన్ సెకండ్ ఇయర్ ఓన్లీ అండ్ ద ఇంట్రెస్ట్ earned by the man in the third year only so what we will do now instead of taking the amount whatever they have given us we'll start with saying that the amount he took is 100 rupees if the amount he took 100 rupees after one year what it will become second year what it will become third year what it will become 100 30% compound interest the 30% is nothing but 0.3 so 100 will become 100 into 1.3 because we know the formula is amount equals to p into 1 plus r by 100 for one year so r is 30 percent so r by 100 is 0.3 so i have to just multiply with 1.3 that will become 130 for next year again i have to multiply with 1.3 that will be 169 next year again i have to multiply with 1.3 that if you calculate you will get 219.7 so this is our amount after first year amount after second year and amount after third year amount first year amount second year and amount third year now what we need to find out is the difference between the interest earned by the man in second year only and the interest earned by the man in third year only now what is the interest earned by the man in second year that is nothing but a2 minus a1 a2 minus a1 is 39 similarly what is the interest earned by the man in the third year only that is 219.7 minus 169 or that is a3 minus a2 which is equals to 50.7 what we need to find out is the difference between these two so that will be 50.7 minus 39 that is equals to 11.7 so if i start with 100 rupees and 30 percent compound interest we apply so we understood that the difference between the second year interest third year interest only and the second year interest only is 11.7 so now we can go back and say that for 100 rupees what we need to find out answer will be 11.7 then for 4500 how much it will be that will be nothing but 45 into 11.7 so which will be equals to 526.5 so in a competitive exam if we have been asked then instead of starting with and substituting in the formula 4500 into 1 plus 30 by 100 whole square minus 4500 into 1 plus 30 by 100 different formulas it's easy if you start with 100 easy number and then apply the compound interest find out the amounts and we know the compound interest is difference between the successive amounts so we can easily find out the solution